Hi, and welcome to a very special episode of Fighter T. Today we're going to discuss a bunch of dumb stuff. And by that I mean, well, the first thing I've got to say is, sorry for not posting up anything for a few weeks, I've had technical difficulties. Oddly enough, you need a computer to edit YouTube videos so that you can post them up on the internet. And my YouTube, my, my computer flopped harder than an unbelt going up against a duke. I, I don't even know how to put it. The computer died a fiery death. So one of the first things I'm going to cover in today's video is inertia. I don't really know what else to film today. I haven't had a chance to, uh, well, I've had a chance. I didn't take the chance to map out and storyboard and figure out what I was going to do this week because, you know, I generated a powerful amount of inertia by I couldn't do any videoing. And I'm breaking that inertia and getting forward in motion and creating some inertia of keeping my videos going. And that relates back into fighting, actually. Especially right now with the pandemic, the all the events being canceled, it's really easy to generate a lot of inertia for keeping one's ass on their couch instead of their ass in front of their pel, in their armor, all that. And if you can't generate the momentum right now to go and practice all that you should to achieve the goals you're wanting, build up the inertia how and where you can. Go and hit the Pell for five minutes. Practice your footwork while you're uh, watching a TV show. Build up that inertia. Get yourself back into doing the things you want to do to achieve your on-the-field goals. Uh, we're all fighting it to some extent or another, but to be blunt, those that fight it better are going to go into the events when they restart better. I know that uh, the state I'm in is very likely to be leading right back into shutdown. We've already got a curfew, and that's really going to put a limit on what people in my state can and can't do. If you don't have anybody in your household, your, po your pod, your, your circle, however you want to put it, that you can practice and spar with, you can still do stuff. Uh, I have mentioned before, and I'll mention it again. Practice your footwork and your stance while doing your chores. Go in your backyard and walk around like like, a, like you're trying to be a ninja on the balls of your feet like you're supposed to when you fight. Put your armor on when you mow your lawn so that you, you're not losing the conditioning for wearing your armor, especially if you've got a heavier kit. If you're fighting in chainmail and you're not you know, wearing the chainmail often to keep your conditioning up, you're going to hate your armor when you get back into it. Work on the Pell. If you don't have a Pell, if you're somebody that's living in an apartment and you can't have a six-foot pole cemented in the ground, you can still practice the Pell motions with a golf tube, with a piece of dowel, a broom handle, whatever, and practice the motions. You know, get build that muscle memory. Um, just wearing your helmet will help you in ways because you get used to how your vision is cut off, what you can and can't see. And... I'm going to go on that in another segment in this video, but figure out what things you can do and do them. Because if you're watching these videos, you're either one of my close personal friends watching them to out of pity for me, uh, and by that I mean to help me out, or you're somebody who wants to come out of this a better fighter, and you've got to put the work in. You've got to put the work in. You've probably heard some fighters talking about fighting with the force and knowing a fight. Uh, and that's going to relate back into, especially if you've got a more restrictive to your vision helmet, put your helmet on and do some things. Get used to what you can and can't see. I know that uh, a lot of uh, knights and a lot of uh, established fighters talk about hat time and how important it is. And it really is important. You, 
you need to build that confidence to feel comfortable walking around on a broken field with stuff scattered on the ground without being able to see the ground because your, your vision's blocked. You know, you get used to filling in those gaps. It's like driving a car. When you first drive a car, you really get weirded out about your blind spots and what else is going around you, but after you know a couple hundred hours driving your car, you know on autopilot in the back of your brain that this car just entered your blind spot and hasn't come out of it, so they're still there. And you want that, you want that library for your helmet. And you want to start filling that in and knowing that if I can't see it because his shield's blocking it, but his leg has got to be open, so if I take a step sideways and throw, it's going to go right into his leg. You want to build that awareness. And part of that is getting used to filling in the gaps that your helmet leaves you. Now, with our sport, skill is going to triumph, but skill plus muscle is just fun and extra dirty. Um, it's really easy during this pandemic to let your gut get bigger, sit on the couch more. Um, and I know a lot of my friends are complaining that their gyms are closed. There's a lot of body weight exercises that you can do that you can build up your fitness, build up your endurance. They're a good idea. You know, because, I mean, ultimately, lungs win crowns, cardio wins crowns, but keeping in that physical conditioning, doing push-ups, doing sit-ups, with or without your armor on, it's going to benefit you in the long run. If you're a sword and board fighter, you might want to strap that shield on or put that shield in your hand and walk around or watch TV with it, because that shield's heavy, yo. And when you're in condition, you kind of forget that. And if you haven't been doing that, you probably aren't in condition anymore. You know, you, you need that. And to expand even more on the cardio wins crowns, ultimately, in the long run of, of, the, uh, of our sport, it's a game of energy conservation. If I burn all of my energy winning round one and I'm gassed, I'm not going to win round two. And a lot of times the fights come down to the first person to make a mistake loses. You don't so much win, you get the other guy to make a mistake and, and they lose versus you've done something to win. And in that, you make more mistakes when you're tired. You make more mistakes when you're exhausted. So the longer in your fighting day that you can go without being exhausted, the better you're going to do in your fighting day. This has been yet another episode of Fighter T. And uh, during this apocalypse, I know it's kind of hard to remember uh, what we're doing this for, but we're doing this so that way when the world starts spinning again, we can kill our friends and not hurt them.